So, I, I, I mean, I know the answer to the, what would you think about a, a second referendum? I, I think I know the answer to that. But that is in the offing today, if that amendment comes through as well. And a lot of people are saying, you know, that would provide clarity if MPs were to go, OK, this is the deal that we've got, let's put that to the people, because that would provide the and ultimate clarity. clarity. Would it, what clarity would it provide? Well, people are saying that, that, you know, they voted for Brexit to leave, but they voted to leave with a deal, which was what was no, promised. No, 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 the, no, no, they didn't. But tell me what the referendum ballot paper is going to say. Well, it could say uh, deal, no deal, or stay in the EU. Why doesn't it just say this deal or no deal? Because we've already voted to come out. Mm. So they can't possibly put on the referendum something to say we stay in, we've decided that bit. So if you were going to have a referendum, it would either be Boris Johnson's deal or no deal. Now, that sort of referendum might be something to look at. It's interesting, isn't it? When we start going down the second referendum route, we then start getting into so many different options. We've already decided. We want Nobody on the... The ballot paper said nothing about deal. It said leave or remain. We voted to leave. And three and a half years later, that place behind us has stopped us doing it. Come on, let's get out.